Hi, I'm Kyle Cunningham, a software engineer on Grafana's DataViz squad. In Grafana 11, we've added an often requested feature to the table panel, and that's the ability to conditionally format table rows. Let's go ahead and set that up now. I have a dashboard here already uh, with a table panel already too. Um, and I want to color this table uh, using this level field. So what I'm going to do is start editing this. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do to do this is set up some value mappings. This will allow us to get the colors. So I go down in the right column and click Add Value Mappings under Value Mappings. So first I'll do Info. And for Info, let's do Green. And then add another one. We're just going to do by exact values. Uh, the next one will be Worn. Let's set that to Yellow uh, just to make sure that we're getting it. And then finally, let's do error. Uh, that should make it easier to find any errors in these logs. And let's set that one to red. Click update. And so far, we're not seeing the colors yet. Uh, we just have the value mappings. So in order to see the colors for these, we're going to go to overrides. I'm going to add a field override. Let's select the name in this case. Uh, we're doing the level field. Let's add an override property now. And then I want to go down to cell type. This will allow me to select the colored background cell type, which will apply the color. OK. And actually, apply to entire row is already selected in this case. Um, so we're good to go. Um, we see we have info and warning showing with the different colors. And let's see if we can see any errors. Oh, there are some. Wow, that was way easier than just uh, browsing through if there's no colors applied. That's looking pretty good. Um, but you may be asking, uh, what if we have numeric values instead rather than just a set of labels like this? So let's apply this. And I have another table set up. So let's go over to that now. Uh, with this table, we just have CPU usage information over time. So I'm going to go in and edit this. And again, go down the right side, uh, this time to thresholds instead. So first, I'm really curious about when things are not going so well. So let's add 90 in here. OK. And set that to red. Um, we probably don't want high CPU usage all the time. And I'll add another one in here for a warning. How about 75? OK, cool. And just like last time, we're not seeing the colors right away. Uh, so what I'm going to do is go to Field Overrides, add a Field Override and select the name in this case again. So the A series is the one I want to color. That's where the value that I'm interested in is. Uh, then I add an override property. Same thing. I select the cell type and then go to the colored background cell. Um, in this case, the option wasn't applied already. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and apply that option. It does look like we already have the color for the A series. So let's check this out. All right, excellent. Uh, so we're getting the color for the whole row. Let's see if we're getting into any bad conditions down here. Oh, wow. It looks like we had some time where things weren't going so well. Um, but other times where things were going well. Otherwise, though, it's way easier to see what's going on. Um, and I can see when these conditions are happening, which is really useful to what I'm doing. Um, I'm not super great with this background, so instead I'm just going to do basic instead. So that way there's no gradient. All right, cool. Apply that. And it looks like everything is good to go. Um, so that is the new uh, row formatting uh, to the table panel that we've added to Grafana 11. We're very excited for everyone to get the chance to use this. Um, and we're continuing to expand this functionality with different types of formatting um, as we go along. Thank you so much, and we hope you enjoy Grafana 11.